The fear of making mistakes can loom large, casting long shadows over our choices and actions. If you're standing hesitant, worried about the wrong steps more than the journey itself, let's walk together through God's Word, finding reassurance and strength. As we navigate these scriptures, let's allow them to speak into our fears, to comfort us and to encourage us. Stay with us until the end, where we will offer a prayer, asking God to ease our worries about making mistakes, reminding us of his ever-present love and guidance. James chapter 3 reads, We all stumble in many ways. Anyone who is never at fault in what they say is perfect, able to keep their whole body in check. Picture the early followers of Jesus gathering to hear James' letter read aloud. In a world where the pursuit of perfection often leaves us feeling inadequate, James' words are a soothing balm. He acknowledges our collective propensity to stumble, not as a condemnation, but as a universal truth of human existence. This acknowledgement invites us into a journey not of striving for unattainable perfection, but of growing in grace and wisdom under the nurturing gaze of a loving God. Romans chapter 8 reads, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Reflect on Joseph, whose life seemed a series of unfortunate events, betrayed by his brothers, sold into slavery, falsely accused and imprisoned. Yet, in this tapestry of trials, a divine pattern emerges. Joseph's ascent to power in Egypt and his role in saving his family and many others from famine reveal a profound truth. Our mistake and the wrongs done to us are not beyond the redemptive reach of God's hand. Each misstep, each detour is woven by God into his grand design and for our good and his glory. Psalm 37 reads, The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. Imagine David, a man after God's own heart, yet not without fault. From shepherd boy to king, his life was a journey marked by both triumphs and transgressions. Yet, in his relationship with God, we find not a scoreboard of rights and wrongs, but a testament to God's enduring faithfulness. David's Psalms, including this one, echo with the assurance that missteps do not define us. Rather, it is God's steadfast support that shapes our path, holding us up even when we falter. 2 Corinthians chapter 12 reads, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Consider Paul grappling with a thorn in his flesh, pleading with God for relief. The response he receives offers a paradoxical peace. In our weakness, God's strength is perfected. This divine principle turns our understanding upside down, suggesting that our vulnerabilities and mistakes are not mere obstacles to be overcome, but are, in fact, the very places where God's power and grace are most vividly displayed. Proverbs chapter 24 reads, For though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again, but the wicked stumble when calamity strikes. Picture the resilience found in the heart of a believer, constantly rising after each fall. This wisdom from Proverbs isn't just advice, it's a spiritual principle. Each time we rise, we're not merely recovering, we're growing stronger, more rooted in faith, learning that the tenacity of a spirit that refuses to give up. 
It's a divine cycle of falling and rising that teaches us persistence is key in our walk with God. Matthew chapter 14 reads, Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. Envision Peter, bold, yet faltering, his faith momentarily eclipsed by fear. In his sinking, he finds the truth that our failures are never final in God's story. Jesus' immediate response to Peter's cry for help is a vivid reminder to us all. When we're overwhelmed by the fear of failure, reaching out to Jesus is our surest lifeline. His hand is always extended, ready to save and steady us. Luke chapter 22 reads, Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift all of you as wheat. But I have prayed for you, Simon, that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. Reflect on Peter's transformation. Before the rooster crowed, he went from declaring undying loyalty to Jesus to denying him three times. Yet, this lapse wasn't the end of his story. Jesus had already seen Peter's recovery and future role as a cornerstone of the church. Peter's path from denial to leadership underscores a profound truth. Our mistakes, even the ones we fear are unforgivable, can become powerful testimonies to God's redemptive love and grace, shaping us into vessels of strength and encouragement for others. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, in our moments of fear and trepidation about the mistakes we might make, guide us back to your truth, that in our stumbling, your grace is made perfect. Remind us that each misstep is an opportunity for growth, a moment to learn and to lean more deeply into your loving embrace. Help us to see our lives through your eyes, where every fall is caught, every error is met with mercy, and every wrong turn is redirected by your hand. May we walk forward not in fear, but in faith, trusting in your sovereign care and perfect plan. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.